OK, so here's going to be what we're going to finish it off with. And I, and I put this problem in there because a lot of times we'll do so many problems when we have a, a binomial in the form of x minus k that students look at this and say, oh, 2x plus 3. Well, we can't do synthetic division um, because it's not in the form of x minus k. But it is. We can have a coefficient for x. The only important thing is we need to make sure it's a binomial and also that it's linear. And we see that, yes, this is a binomial. It has two terms. And my variable, x, is raised to the first power. So therefore, it satisfies all the requirements. Now, when determining what exactly the value of what we call our k that we're going to look for, remember, on those easier problems, what I did is I set it equal to 0. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'll take 2x plus 3 and set it equal to 0. So what is this value of x that I'm going to use for my synthetic division? Well, we need to solve for x. So I subtract 3. 2x equals negative 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals a negative 3 halves. So yes, we're going to do some fraction work, which is probably not going to be too bad. Um, but let's just go and take a look. So I have a negative 3 halves. Put it outside my box. And then remember, we have to use our coefficients and our constant. But we need to make sure we're going in descending order. And in this case, we notice that I have a missing term for my linear. So therefore, I need to include a 0 as that coefficient. So I have 3, negative 4, 0, and 5. All right. So then again, remember, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bring down our first term and then multiply. So I have 3, bring it down, just 3. 3 times a negative 3 halves is going to be a negative 9 halves. Now we need to make sure we add negative 4, uh, negative 4 plus a negative 9 halves. So the important thing to do to that is to convert it over. So multiply by, convert that to 1, multiply by 2 over 2. So therefore, we have a negative 8 over 2. Well, therefore, you can see this is a negative 17 over 2. Then I'm going to multiply over. So this would be a 31, so it would be a positive 41 over 4. Thirty-four, sorry, not thirty-four. That's already thirty-four, so it's going to be a fifty-one over four. Add those up. Then I need to multiply again across. So I have fifty-one over four times negative three over two. So fifty-one would be times two would be a hundred and two, which would be a hundred and fifty-three, a negative one fifty-three over eight. Then I need to make sure I add these up together. So this is 5 over 1 to get the same denominator. I'll multiply by 8 over 8. That will give me 40 over 8. So therefore, then I add these up. And you can see that in this case, uh, I will have a negative 113 over 8. So therefore, that's going to be our remainder. Yeah, it's a fraction, but that's OK. Remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. So my final solution in this one is going to be a 3, or my final quotient will be 3x squared minus 17 halves x plus 51 over 4 plus a negative 113 over 8 divided by 2x plus 3. And then there's a couple different ways we could probably rewrite that um, to put that on top so we could take our divisor and then uh, rewrite that or multiply this by our reciprocal um, over here. So really, let's rewrite that. So it's only one fraction times 2x plus 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we solve one of those problems. Thanks.